Scientists at UC San Diego are searching for a pill to treat COVID-19, and they've uncovered dozens of existing drugs that might fight the virus. We're going in depth on how they're using a supercomputer to speed up the search. Every minute an American dies from COVID-19, but every second the Comet supercomputer at UC San Diego can run up to two quadrillion calculations, searching for a drug that's the right fit to smother the virus. It's very powerful. Researchers Valentina Kuznetsova and Igor Sigalne built a detailed model of the virus's components, then unleashed the San Diego Supercomputer Center on the FDA's database of existing drugs mining it for compounds that might stick to exactly the right molecular pocket. They say it's a lot faster than trying to construct a new drug from scratch. We did developing of several drugs. It, it's years. We don't have this year. Decades sometimes. <laughs> yeah, so we try to find the, the real existing drug. Maybe it would be kind of less effective, but they will work. Over the last several months, they identified about 200 drugs that might be a good match, including drugs already used to fight viruses like HIV and hepatitis C, along with drugs targeting cancers, even high cholesterol. At least eight of those drugs have since gone into clinical trials for COVID. This method can work. The researchers have used this method before, identifying drugs that are now being tested to fight Parkinson's disease. On a normal desktop computer, they say each scan would take weeks. On the Comet, it takes about two days, but even supercomputers can get fussy. Sometimes it happens like Microsoft made some updates and these updates stop running and you should rerun it again. Yes. This might <laughs> welcome, welcome to computing, yes. Some of the drugs they identified in their latest search are available over the counter, including two forms of vitamin E and vitamin D3, which has shown such promise a national clinical trial is now getting underway. Worth noting that these predictions don't always pan out once it hits the clinical trial stage, as was the case with hydroxychloroquine. The researchers' work so far has focused on attacking the virus once it's inside a cell, but they say they'll be publishing another study soon on drugs that might block the virus before it gets in. Exciting.